Welcome to the solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! channel where we discuss everything collecting and investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Today we have another PSA return. Finally, finally, finally. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay, this is so exciting. These have been gone for so long. Holy hell. I do have to say I have not seen the grades yet. They didn't want to share it and I had no upcharges. So I think the grades won't even be that amazing. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they just missed it. Uh, let's let's keep that hopium and copium going. Some of these will be for sale on my Instagram at some Yu-Gi-Oh. Others will not be. So we'll see. Again, depending on grades entirely, because I have no idea. Let's take this first card. I'll uh, hide with my hand. Okay, let me zoom in. So this is an alligator sword from WP11. You saw me unbox those packs. They're extremely rare packs, also extremely rare cards. This was my favorite pull from it. All of them kind of had like this line on the back that we then try to remove with like this special liquid. You also saw that on the channel. So we'll see if that actually worked. Maybe it didn't, maybe it's a 5 and then, oh, oops, maybe others did work out, we'll see. Uh, but I'm still excited to see the result. Holy fuck! I'm, I'm normally no, like, overreaction person on this channel, you know that, but... It worked! The cleaning trick worked! This, I, I remember this guy, I was so sad about the line on the back. I put that liquid, link is in the description, you can check out the videos because be aware, it's very dangerous. Like if you do this wrong, you will destroy your cards. But it worked. It got the Gem Mint 10 on the WP11 Alligator Sword. I think this is like Pop 1 or Pop 2. It's wow. This was given out at the World Championship. Holy hell, let me take that out of this, this sleeve. Oh my god, that's, it. that's amazing. Like you having seen me pull it on that video... That was also a really cool moment, and then just, oh my god. Wow, okay, this is a great start. Holy hell. Okay, we'll, we'll put that here. Next card. Uh -huh. A MRD change of heart. Now, MRD has lately been taking a hit. It's kind of the one that has grown the most as far as supply and in the pop report goes, which is very interesting to see. I sent this off. I had bought it for very cheap. I, I don't know. I, I remember thinking this is going to be a 9, but but we'll see. I, I don't really remember any like major issues, but I don't know. If I thought it was a 9, there was probably something still. I already have a 9. I would like to have a 10. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's just check it out. An 8! Okay, yeah. If I if I thought it was going to be a 9, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's take it out of the plastic regardless. I don't know if I'll sell this. Maybe. Eh, we'll see. 8 on a car that had an issue. Makes a lot of sense. But the 10, holy hell. I, I'm super excited for this one especially. Okay, let's check out this common card. Huh. Time Wizard. Okay, another MRD card. I think there's two Time Wizards in this particular batch. I remember one being quite, like, weak and the other one being a bit stronger. So I send both off and we'll see. Let's check out his grade. Uh, six. Oh, oh, okay. I thought weak as in, like, maybe a seven, maybe an eight, but a six. Wow. Okay, let me check this out here. I honestly don't see the issue. That's weird. Um, I will have to check up close again through video with cameras here and stuff. It, it's harder, but uh, a 6 is odd. That actually makes me afraid for the next time, Wizard, because maybe I just missed something on something that I thought would get a 10. I don't know. Very odd. Uh, let's check it. Is this the next time, Wizard? Hup. Yeah, this is the next time, Wizard. I don't know. I, know. I just remember one being cleaner than the other. Let's see. <gasps> Holy fuck! Again, again. <laughs> okay, okay, again. I don't want to, like, overreact or anything like that. Okay, so I was right. There was one cleaner and one a bit bit worse, but I didn't I just didn't think it would be that much worse. Okay. Wow, look look at my brothers. My two time wizard brothers. Oh, now it hits it just right. Yeah. Wow, this is my second gem mint 10 time wizard. Again, MRD. It has been getting hit a bit lately, but that's fine. I love this card a lot. It's a really, really sweet card. Oh my god, we have another 10. Okay, very exciting. Uh, the next ones. I think there's going to be a few weaker ones in here because I'll explain. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, next one. Blue Eyes Tune. Okay, this one. This one I thought was pretty strong. So I, this is not the weaker card I was talking about. But let's see. Regardless, it's a first edition MRL Blue Eyes Tune. I really want a 10 of this. I've just been hoping that this one grades a 10 so that I don't have to actually go out and buy one. <laughs> but we'll see. It is 7. Oh my god. What did I miss? Okay, I'll, I'll check it out sometime, but a 7. Damn, I would have been fine with a 9. 
But a seven. It has like the slightest scratch on the back, but that's really odd to me that that would actually dock it to a seven. So I'll have to inspect more closely. But uh, big sad on this one, honestly. Like I felt a change of heart and the six time wizard made sense. The seven blue eyes too, not so much. Damn. Okay. Next card. A cyber twin dragon ultimate rare. Okay, first edition. We'll have to take a closer look at this one when we take off the plastic, because I don't remember if this was LTEU or LTNA. The North American print and the European print are, are very different looking from specific angles, so we'll see. I don't remember. I don't think this was the strongest card. I remember there being like a whitening somewhere on one spot. We'll see. A nine! How did this get a seven and this get a nine? Did I forget about wrong whitening? Let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm happy with a 9. I'm really happy with a 9, but I want to make sure it's, like, justified, right? So we have our beautiful boy. And it is an e EU ulti, as you can see. Oh, look at that. That is what it's all about on these EU ultis. Just the, the 3D just pops so much more on them. What a gorgeous card. Let me check if it was actually clean, though. This little guy has, like, a chip of whitening on the left here. But I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera. Regardless, that... I don't know, man. If these two were switched, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, Cyber Twin Dragon. Our first 9 of the batch. We have two tens, a 9, and then uh, an 8, a 7, and a 6. Wow, we can count down right here. Just like that. <laughs> okay, let's just put these... Uh, put these together again now the next two cards these are the two that are actually probably weak and i'll explain why Hup. we have two cyber and dragons eu let me uh, i you can't see it through the plastic very well i'll take the plastic off i sent in every type of condition of cyber and dragon eu because i'm trying to get psa one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of this card it's just a little a little side collection a little weird thing i'm trying and so yeah i've been sending like completely beat up ones as well uh, these ones were like slightly cleaner <laughs> on the cleaner side i think one of them you know maybe had even a shot of a decent grade but yeah don't expect like oh 10 10 10 10 10 like normally i don't i don't know like the highest one of them might get is like a nine but i expect more like a, a seven and a six or an eight and a seven or I don't know, one of them was pretty clean. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Boom. An eight. Okay. That's what that's that's about in line with what I expected. Uh, we have ourselves an eight, that's good. I already have a nine cyber end, so this is uh getting us closer to the goal. Let's see that EU ulti pop. It's all about hitting it like in the correct light. Absolutely gorgeous card. One day I'll have that then. I I don't know if you can catch it, but it's a really, really cool card. Okay, very excited for this one. The 8 was justified because I remember, like, there was whitening somewhere. At, like, this corner here that's kind of jammed up. This corner also slightly weaker. Like, this is a completely fair grade. I knew that was coming. Ooh, here, here you can see the EU ulti. Oh, from my angle you can, from yours you can't. Ha, too bad for you. Final card of this submission is another Cyber End Dragon, like I said. I'm submitting a bunch. Uh, this one will probably be worse. Like, come on, give me give me that seven, right? <laughs> we'll see. And it has a five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Again, like it, it's a bit of a beat up copy, but I need I need all the copies. So if you have beat up ulti cyber and first edition European, send them over to me. Uh, <laughs> they're welcome. These these poor children. Ah, oh, still a beautiful card. Like despite a five, it's more so on the back the whitening. You can see this chip here. Stuff like that. That makes it a weaker copy, but still, like, really nice for display. That's basically the plan. Like, have them all on display. Obviously, the weaker grades, like, the, the ones and the twos will, uh, <laughs> will be a bit uglier. But we'll see what we can do. So that was the PSA submission. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, very machine -y vibes in this one. I do have another one coming in the very near future that will not be as machine -y. It will be more uh, dual monsters based. I hope you look forward to that. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Some of these might be for sale on uh, my Instagram, but I'm not so sure about which ones yet. And I will see you soon. Ciao.